Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. It's a podcast bonus. What does it mean? End of the week, look back. What it was, what it is, what we did, what we did it. End of the week, you're getting out of bed with your alarm ringing at your head instead of getting ready for the weekend. Hey! Let's go through the week. Little bit of Brownie, little bit of Chrissy. Somewhere in between, there's hang that's all free. Cheap, cheap, times I'll break this. Hey! Yes, it is that time of week where my family finally switch over from Ross and Russell and listen to five minutes of their own son on a segment they tell everyone that this is all I do. Comparative to working a full working week and doing a lot more than this segment. Am I bitter about it? Maybe a little bit. Monday, Max Gorn was on the show and there was a lot of background bird noise. Sounded like he was in a park, but still a great chat. just wanted to give a little insight into this band. Do you know that after the Collingwood Carlton game where I was a bit flat? See what I mean about the bird noise? Sorry. Oh, uh, keep going. Yeah. No, I received a text message from Max oh. saying, How are you, mate? Just checking in, seeing if you're okay. Oh, that's oh. nice. And, uh, and then a dick pic. So it was like... <laughs> <laughs> we talked off air if this text was fair game. The dick pic wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> As we continue on with Monday, Mystic Chrissy, well, that was, uh, that was pretty mystic. Come in, Anna, from Eltham North, and I'm straight away seeing it, it's the Italian flag again. No, I'm not Italian. Interesting. <laughs> but what is you... Italian your favourite food? No, not really. Never been to La Pocetta? <laughs> <laughs> I have. There we go. There, go. there it is. Right. See, I'm helping you. Sam gave us some news about dogs. So what about the most popular dogs in Australia have been revealed for 2022? Cavoodle. Number one, Swanee. I don't have to know this, uh, but my favourite dog is a Staffordshire. Yes, I know. I love yeah. Staffordshire. And so that came in at number five. I looked at this list of top ten most popular breeds and I was like annoyed. Let's put him in a ring and we'll find out who's number one. <laughs> <laughs> we found out what Brownie likes to talk about off air. You're someone who uh, has often said to me off air that you uh, you deeply fear assassination. Mm. <laughs> and, <laughs> so this show obviously has quite a bit of preparation behind the scenes. And we got a little insight to it on Tuesday. Uh, just quickly, beyond the scenes, I'm going to lift the curtain yeah. <laughs> before this talk break. <laughs> Pang leant over Dino's desk and said, you don't have John Williamson's True Blue, do you? And Dino replied with, we're not a radio station, we don't. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Specific family, the mum and dad and a cockatoo. Anyway, uh, we talked brands. Most trusted brands. Most trusted brands here in Australia. Bunnings, number three. Number two, Coles. Yep. And number one, four and twenty. No. Hilux. Priceline. CB. <laughs> <Kind of a. laughs> From news of brands to one specific one, Playboy and its former guy. Hugh Hefner. Former Playboy bunnies have claimed that Hugh Hefner would fake cry in an attempt to uh, manipulate uh, girls into sex. So he would cry before sex, Brownie, mm. as opposed to you who cries afterwards. <laughs> By the way, that jaunty, inappropriate music I'm playing underneath is from one of the greatest house albums of all time, Dimitri from Paris, A Night at the Playboy Mansion. Anyway, like most album chats on the radio, no one gives a shit, so let's move on. Oh, wait, the chorus is coming up. Uh, let's just have a taste. Chrissy was away and Sarah Arbo joined the show and she got to experience firsthand what it's like during Jokes Aren't Funny. Raf in Surrey Hills. Hi. Hello, Raf. How old are you? I'm 12. Who's your footy team, Raf? Carlton. Were you a bit upset when Collingwood beat us and we didn't make the finals? Yeah. Yeah, well, toughen up, mate. All right? (laughs) That's what life's about. 
It's one long disappointment and then you die. Oh, my God. Let's keep it short. Sarah Arbo was asked a question from Sam. Yeah, what's the most frivolous story you've had to cover in your... Because, you know, you didn't start at 60 Minutes. No. You went up through the ranks. No. Actually, this is, this is a true story. When I started at Channel 10 in Adelaide, I did a story that went to air on the 5 o'clock news about ducks stuck in a drain. Yes. Like, literally, that was a story. Oh, how did you feel then? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard not to get caught up in it, right? They're pretty cute, those little ducklings. Well, in pancakes, they're unbelievable. <laughs> Dave O'Neill was on the show yesterday and prior to him coming on the show, we had a chat about Dave O'Neill. The thing about O'Neill, I don't mind saying out loud, yeah. that there's an inequality in the relationship. I love him way more than he likes me. Oh, Dave's on a moron with it. I'm just saying. Do you know what I think? I feel the same way. He's that would be not that. uncommon for you, though. Do you know? I'm so glad he's... Yesterday, Dave O'Neill stated the obvious. There's been rumours, though, that uh, we never see you and Sam in the same room. So, True. potentially, you are the same person, but... We're not. Uh, that, well, we're a different race. Uh, <laughs> different culture. Oh, my God. Thank you so much <laughs> for pointing that out. I didn't notice. <laughs> some news in which he mumbled through and uh, here it is. Passenger on domestic flights no longer required to wear masks. Okay, right. Um, with the power of technology and my ability to do my job, I'm just going to make it a little easier to understand what he said. Passenger on domestic flights no longer required to wear masks. That's as best as I can do with that, but he said passengers on domestic flights are no longer required to wear masks. Anyway, uh, this is the response to What do you that. think about wearing a mask anyway on a plane? Even though you don't have to. Do you not have to wear a mask on a plane anymore? You just, you just said that. Brother. Words. Your words. You did not play enough football to no. have a head injury. No, I cop some knocks in some nightclubs back then. <laughs> Every time he talks about masks, he gets confused with some of his head where he wears it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it from me. I'm doing this for brownie points, but let me just tell you that make sure you check out Nomad. Uh, it's a restaurant in the city on Flinders Lane. And I can honestly say the food is wildly delicious. Also, my fiancé works there. However, like, the food, I'm just letting you know, is insane. Also, a big hi to Dan, one of the managers, who's a big fan of our show. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend. I'm out of here. Bye! Chrissy, Sam and Brownie, Ripper Show will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Unless it's a weekend. Channel 100.